So in a world that is constantly changing, one of the few things that have not changed is how traders make money, right? So that has not changed. It has been the same for years. And I'll show you an example uh, with the trade that I personally took. It's an easy trade, uh, even though it made me over a thousand pips, uh, over three thousand pips. Uh, but it was an easy trade and I'll show you what I mean when I say it the way traders make money has not changed Right, so we have to go back to 2013. I'll be using USDJPY uh, We have to go back to 2013 to witness what I mean, right? So in 2013 Around April the Bank of Japan they were actually Start they actually started a quantitative easing program essentially a quantitative easing program is has a similar effect to cutting of interest rates. It is meant to keep borrowing costs low so that it can stimulate the economy because if borrowing costs are low, then people can borrow money, businesses can borrow money, and then the economy will start booming or growing, right? So that is the primary purpose of it, just in simple terms. So the Bank of Japan was starting that in April, or they announced that they're starting it in April, whereas on the other hand, the Fed, they were actually, they announced in May that uh that they they would they see it they would see that uh they announced in may that if it saw continued improvement in in economic conditions they would take a step down in our pace of purchases so essentially they would start quantitative easing right uh so they would they would exit quantitative easing so what was happening the bank of japan was was starting quantitative easing the fed was in the process of actually exiting quantitative easing and then eventually hiking interest rates so what so that caused a divergence one was weakening one had a, a an effect of weakening the economy the other had an effect of strengthening the economy right so when interest rates go up value moves into that economy if interest rates are kept low, then value moves out of that economy. So that is what was happening. So buy the Fed or buy the dollar and sell the Japanese yen. And that is why that was around uh, 2013. And what we saw is that price fell a couple of 700 pips before it actually bottomed out and then continued rising for a couple of years, right? So this is what I saw in 2021 when I started trading uh using fundamentals in 2013 i wasn't even trading i had no idea what trading even was right but in 2021 when i came across fundamentals and i started learning them this was the trade that i came across right and then fast forward to 2021 what was happening in 2021 was almost similar to what was happening in 2013 which is why i say that the way traders make money has not changed so if we look at the minutes uh for 2021 as you can see here this was an article in 2021 what it essentially said was that the fed policy makers have said that they need to see substantial further progress toward their goals of inflation that averages two percent over time and full employment so they wanted inflation to be above two percent over time so i'll take you to my spreadsheet it's where we can track and see where inflation was sitting at around april 2021 right so around april 2021 if we track here okay let's just go let's start in may around may 2021 as you can see here's the dollar right so here's the dollar as you can see inflation was already at five percent they, they they were at trying to achieve two percent inflation target and for it to be stable above two percent it had already doubled the inflation target so that showed that of course they were going to now shift their stance and probably end their quantitative easing because they they had they had a quantitative easing program running because of covid right so that was the that was the the reason there so going back we can see this this goal was actually met right of two percent over time so what followed next was that the very same year in 2021 when i had started um obviously learning fundamentals later on in the year it came that the fed they announced that they will start tapering tapering is essentially what they were going to do back in 2013 where instead of buying bonds they would start selling bonds and remember bonds and yields have an inverse correlation yields i mean interest when bonds when the when they when the when the central bank is buying bonds it depresses the interest rates so and remember currencies follow interest rates so if interest if bonds are being bought and interest rates are being depressed then that currency should fall 
if interest rates are if if bonds are being sold and interest rates start to appreciate then that currency should also appreciate so that is why we were i was looking to buy the dollar back then and i'll also show you a screenshot of uh of of the communication that i had in the group so this was around august 26 2021 i'll just read the last sentence so looking at september by the end of 2021 but no indication for an announcement tomorrow my view on the dollar has not changed i am still bullish so i was still bullish back then in 2021 and, and this essentially this post explains why right so what happened was simply just by following the same guidelines what happened in 2013 i had anticipated a similar outcome of events right because like i said the way traders make money has not changed so the very same year in around december 2021 this, the bank of japan they were still buying more bonds so as you can see it also continued to not set an upper limit on the amount of japanese government bonds it will purchase in order to cap the 10-year Japanese uh, Japanese government bonds yield at around 0%. So essentially to depress or to suppress the 10-year interest rates, they will continue buying bonds and not setting an upper limit. So again, we had that divergence. One is buying bonds. One is now looking to do what? To exit their, buy, their bond buying program. So if one is buying bonds, they are suppressing interest rates. The other one that is no longer buying bonds or they looking to exit that will result in what in an appreciation in interest rates so that is why i was looking to buy the dollar since august and then eventually around december when this announcement was made if i go back to the screenshots i'll show you this was when i told the team that i was looking to buy usd jpy so this was around the 30th of november i have placed a buy limit order at 112.65 and then the buy limit was triggered obviously this is what i said on december the 6th then if we go back to the actual chart what you can see this is when i bought around october november 2021 towards the end and then price actually rallied over close to 4,000 pips. And that is the reason why I say this is the most easiest trade I ever took, right? So I was able to net over 3,000 pips. I did not hold the whole move up until 151, but I was in, I'd say 90% of the move. I've been holding and I've been bullish the dollar, buying the dollar till today, right? And that is the reason behind me actually buying the dollar. It's that divergence in central banks so if you understand what the central banks are doing and what they are doing the impact it will have on the economy moving forward you can make informed decision where you are able to consistently pull out trades out of the market or choose trades in the market that have an unlimited upside but a very limited downside in terms of your losses right and that is what i did exactly here so the way traders make money has not changed this happened in 2013 it happened again in 2021 right now we are shifting into an environment where the central banks had been hiking interest rates all this time and now they they were potentially heading into a a, a a regime where they could look to cut interest rates so in that case again we'd have to readjust and reposition our, our, ourselves accordingly those that will cut early would look to sell those that will keep their interest rates higher we would look to buy right so essentially that is the lesson that i wanted to share with everyone here that this is how simple it can be to produce good results from your trading just follow the central banks look that look identify that central bank divergence and then you act on that you all you have to do from there is execute because because you have all your ducks in the row the data is supporting that and that is the view that i've had since 2021 which is buy the dollar data is still strong numbers are still showing a resilient economy so why should i pivot and go against that so this is how simple it can be for you to make a profit from trading mind you i became an overnight success since 2021 because i started using fundamentals before that i was trading with technicals and i was losing right i started trading in 2016 so this is powerful stuff and if you apply it and understand it like i always say it will transform your trading exponentially right so i hope you found value in this video and if you like this video of course subscribe subscribe and share it with friends who might also learn from this and find value from this video